Polar Plunge Award. Right there. Oh. Beautiful. Bell is much better than you at this. <laughs> <laughs>is another one-time accolade given to an angler who, by all accounts, must simply be insane. During the first week of May, when frigid temperatures had the rest of us in full sweatsuits or huddled behind our wind blocks, one angler did the unthinkable. Based on a dare, he quickly changed into his father's bathing suit that went down to his ankles. Of course, he didn't have his own because it was like 45 degrees out. Who brings a bathing suit to the beach when it's freaking 45 degrees out, right? Bravely charged towards the ocean and plunged into the icy waves. I think it's safe to say that this may be the first time a person actually performed a dare and then got cold feet. Stop for laughs. This angler might worship the Incredible Hulk, but upon making it back to the beach, he was looking like more like Mr. Freeze. I actually did have additional ice puns to tell you here, but uh, they all slipped my mind. So, the winner of the Polar Plunge Award is presented to Young Peter Atanasio. Way to go, little Pete! <laughs> Custom beach towel. Get in front of it. Peter, stand in front of it. Come over here. In front of it. Look up, Brad. Hold it up again. Hold that up. I want people to know that that's actually the picture. That's, that's actually the picture. That actually is a custom beach towel with Pete's picture on it. Turn that around. Go back. And Talisa is on that as well. Thank you. You better shower with your girlfriend on it. He's rolling it up. Congrats, Pete. You and me, like good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. to our next award uh, called the Travel and Koozie Award. This one has been uh, maybe three or four years running now and it's gotten bigger and better every year. At the beginning of 2019, the Coolest Cup Committee reached out to anglers in a request for the photos of the Coolest Cup Koozie hitting the road with them on their travels. Over the past year, the Koozies have joined us throughout the states, including New Hampshire, Maine, Florida, the Carolinas, Pennsylvania, Texas and Tennessee. I guess they also made it to New York, because New York Brad is here. Uh, they made it across countries, including Mexico, Italy, Ireland, and France, underwater and on top of mountains. They've joined us at concerts, festivals, and sporting events. Much like last year, the number and originality of submissions were incredible. The winners were not an easy choice, but the committee has chosen their favorites. So we're going to move into third place first in the traveling koozie competition. The koozie has traveled far and wide over the last few years, but little did we know that it would eventually come face to face with one of the most interesting characters yet, right next door in Rhode Island. Our third place winner has had a dry spell when it comes to Coolest Cup awards, but really found a way to reverse it when she met Mary Halsey, Missy Elliott's funky white sister. Keep working it, Sharon Berry. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even the song, so. <laughs> you have a picture? Oh, All right, just turn you. this way. Sharon, turn this way. Right All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Scoozy <laughs> submissions. We can always count on two Coolest Cup members to up the ante and even go all in. So much so that we couldn't just pick one of them. Between the two, they have introduced the koozie to the Lombardi Trophy, raced it up Mount Washington, and lugged it to Key West and Las Vegas. 
will place a bet that these two will be in the running again next year. Viva Las Cousy, Allison Coolis and Julie Gage. We'll have uh, Karen, Karen Coolis come up for them. We got gluten free cider. Wow. Yeah. International gluten free cider. On behalf of Allison and Julie, thank you. Thank you. They're all living in the devil maker. I'm just a devil with no respect. All right, now to move on to first place in the traveling koozie. Choosing our winner of the traveling koozie photo contest was no easy task, but this couple had fight bigger than a tower. I ain't talking about Eiffel. <laughs> Carrying their koozies through Paris after hitting the pubs with the fighting Irish in Dublin, these anglers somehow managed to raise the bar even higher, posing with Zidane Chara and his massive fists. And if Big Z can't win you a fight, I don't know who the hell can. Awesome job, and keep the fight going next year, Ryan and Lily Nunes. And I'm hoping uh, Tasha or Corey will come up and, and accept their craft beer six-pack. Picture, picture time, picture time. Got it. All right, next I'd like to call up Aaron Coolis to present another special award, one time only, called the Performance Arts Award. All right. Can I trust you with the music? No. Look at the thing. And the thing on there. If there's notes, you got this. All right. All true beach crew members are well practiced on the in-between-the-doors bathroom routine. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, no. <laughs> how to, yeah. how, yeah. how to yeah. improve a trustworthy lookout and successfully maneuver a squat between the trucks with the utmost grace and privacy. <laughs> Knowing if the doors are open, don't go a poking. <laughs> However, sometimes our comfort level gets the best of us, and we forget that outsiders, just looking for a glimpse of a seal or the lighthouse, may happen upon this long-standing but necessary tradition. <laughs> In this particular case, it was not a single camera, clad outsider who got more than they bargained for, but an entire van full of people innocently trying to take a tour of the dunes. <laughs> As the jaws dropped open and the cameras flashed, this angler wondered how much extra she should charge next time for giving Art's Dune Tours a little piece of performance art. And for that performance art piece, we would like to give this award to Cheryl. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a, a special right. thing. So you can... It's an F-U-D. Yes. Welcome, Cheryl. All right. Female urination device. So you can pee with the boys. Yes. <laughs> you don't even have to squat down anymore. We're here for the people. We, we listen and we're here for the people.